regular scheduled meeting of the Town of Berlin Development Review Board. Uh, we have one application before us tonight. It's an application for a waiver. Uh, I'm going to ask the applicant, anybody that has give testimony in this matter uh, before the board tonight, please raise your right hand. Yeah. Swear to tell the truth, nothing but truth, under penalties of perjury. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Um, Roland, why don't you tell us uh, uh, what you're up to here? Yeah, so I got a little lot there in, in Berlin Pond, and it's a, uh, it was a, uh, I rented it out to a fellow that had a mobile home. It used to be Dr. Tomasi's place. Mm. He had a cottage there, mm. and he had a sewer system, but I put in a well there since, but he, so I hired the, uh, so when he retired, he sold it, and I, uh, I called him, it was an old camp, so I called the Berlin Fire Department if they wanted to practice it to burn the, burn the camp down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they liked it. So they mm -hmm. said, well, that's good practice, so they burnt the thing down. And then I said, well, now that I got this lot, uh, I better put it to use. So I uh, advertised to someone to put their mobile home there. And they stayed there for about 15, 20 years. But he decided that it was his mobile home was running down. And he said, well, are you gonna start building a house in Northfield? So I told him, I said, well, it's quite a job to take care, take care of that mobile home. It's so dilapidated. So he, he just tore it down a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I have a couple of people that are interested in why buying it. But my lot size is pretty small. It is a pretty small, so that's why I need a variance for the for the uh, width. Wait, a waiver. Yeah, a waiver. Yeah, a there's, waiver. There's a difference. Yeah, distinct difference. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I got a couple of people interested, but they said, "Well, Rowan, we got to make sure you're at, we're allowed to put a small building there or a mobile home." So you're requesting a waiver from the side yard setbacks. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah. And you provided us with uh, an application. Yeah. Um, I must have some help with this, but um, a plot of the property. Uh huh. Showing that it's only 70 feet wide, 70.5 feet wide, and 108 feet deep, a quarter of an acre. And full disclosure, this is tax map information, so it's the best information we had. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I question it because Dr. Tomasi, I know you must have had more more footage than that on each side because no one either was a doctor and hmm. used to have a couple of buildings up there. Used to be used to have gambling up there. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found all kind of gambling equipment up there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Has 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 either lot on either side been surveyed or is there any? Do we know if there's no. any? There are pins up there. There are pins up there. Hmm. But I don't know how accurate they are. You said you found two of the pins. Yeah, I found two of the pins. Is that the and those are the pins you, those are the pins you have little. on the drawing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I tried to find a map, but no, we don't seem to have to find it. No one can locate a map to it. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Well, you got the drawing right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's a tax map, which yes. is notoriously mm -hmm. yeah, inaccurate. inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, I mean, that doesn't mean it can't be accurate. It just means you can't rely on it. Right. Um, the um, so there was no, Mr. Chairman. There's no recorded survey of this property in the town, and Roland didn't have one from when right. you purchased it. Right. Right. So. Um, so we're relying on this information here that the lot is 70 feet wide and 180 feet deep. Correct being a quarter of an acre approximately in the yeah. area. Correct. In a five acre zone. Correct. Uh, it's a pre-existing lot. Obviously pre-existing current zoning, probably pre-existed the previous zoning. This lot's been there a long time. How, Go ahead. how wide, what was the width of the previous trailer that was on the lot? What was the width? Or the, no, you know, how length. long was it? 60 mm. feet, wasn't it? I think it was 60. I think, yeah, said, I think that's what you feet. said before. Yeah. Was it yeah. in the same orientation? Pardon me? Was it in the same yeah, orientation? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So yeah. it was right up to the 
Oh, yeah. Supposed tax map. If you look at the Google map. Yeah, I have a picture. It's, it's yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, it's boundary line. Yeah, you have yeah. it. It's boundary line to boundary line. Yeah. How yeah. do you know that? Uh, I, I transposed that on here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my question is. Because you, you, you can, if you go to the, if you go to this map here, you can also do an overlay that told, shows you with the um, satellite overlay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Literally oh. showed you the trailer wall oh, to wall. Okay. So I understand that if you were to put a mobile home on the site, right, you would need a variance. Yeah. But That's what about a, is it? But most mobile homes are waiver. Yeah. Waiver are longer than this is only going to be forty five feet. You could get them custom made to. There's tiny homes. There are people yeah. who are custom making. So, homes so yeah. they said well, I, and I'm just sorry no, I no, just wanted, yeah, my so my thought was what if it was a, a regular house I mean yeah. if, does it because it can go and it can it go bigger this way uh, perpendicular to the road we've discussed that. not right because it, it's kind of hilly but what about it's the space hilly. in front in the front I can hear I mean, I'm looking at this picture it, yeah. So yeah. it seems like it's set back from the road back. a ways. Yeah, that it is set back from the road a long way. Yeah. But it's, not, it's too darn hilly to to have that. Without doing they put any there sideways. Hmm. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking if you were going to do like a forty, a thirty by twenty house or something, you could do it. You we, wouldn't need we, them. We talked about that pretty extensively, and oh. Mr. Pepin. If you didn't if think you tried to observe, just just do the math. You tried to observe the setbacks side side by side without any kind of waiver at all. <laughs> The structure would have to be a, a maximum width of 20 feet. Ooh. Wow. Why? You have 70 feet, 25 right. on one side, mm -hmm. 25 on the other side. Right, but I'm saying. Feet. Yeah, and that's why I like a variance that would be a little shorter. Mm -hmm. So the only way you could develop that is if you centered a building that's no more than 20 feet wide. Without getting a waiver. You're without getting a waiver. Yeah. Without right. getting a waiver. Right. Um, so you could just orient it the other way. So. You could. It, 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 the slope is approximately 10% up to about the, um, I don't mean to testify, but I, I no, looked this no. up today. No, you know. I, I looked, it, it's about 10% up to about where the trailer used to be. Yeah. Because the trailer's been removed. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then beyond the trailer, it, it kicks up to a, maybe close to 20%. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking back because I read that, that, yeah. that it was, yeah. but I was but thinking But it does forward. look like this is further back than this. Maybe it's just an optical illusion. I, I spoke to the Mr. Pepin about yeah. that. That's, okay. that's where I originally suggested. Mm -hmm. it, it, he told me that it, because of that slope, it couldn't be done. Yeah, okay. I, I'm assuming he knows his property. And right. right. No, it, it is, you know, I walk by there often, so I do oh. know it's, it's a lovely walk. It is. It? Nice. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a nice lot, too. Yeah, right. so... My question is, so you've got a lot next door yeah, that's not developed, correct? Right, right, yeah. Is that going to be an issue for anybody who wants to, to have this sort of coming I up call to him. the line? I call him. He said it wouldn't be no problem. But okay. he's going through a, he said I can't, can't say anything wrong right now because we're going through a family issue. Mm. We're in a turmoil right now. But okay. firing me, he said I, I wouldn't mind at all. Okay. And the property on the other side is the no, city of Montpelier. State of Montpelier. Uh -huh. City of Montpelier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they think they're a state, but it's just a city. <laughs> right. <laughs> now that's Burlington. Yeah. <laughs> a nation. Yeah. So you're saying that to the left is the city? Left and is the city, right is the right individual. individual property. But you've talked Again, who you've a talked super to. super small lot. That's it. It's, it's, it's another substandard lot. So they're not going to complain because if they want to do anything, they're going to But even if they want to build a house there, I would have to have a little probably variance to be in the safe side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Theirs is wider than yours. But right. Um, and then the next lot over has a residence on right. it. Right. So. Right, right. What I'd, like, what I'd like to suggest is, is I, I really think it's straightforward. Yeah. Uh, I don't mean to pres be presumptuous here, um, but if we go through the criteria, sure, um, we'll Sounds get there reasonable. faster. Mm -hmm. uh, not that I have any foot, any game to go to, but <laughs> there's no hockey tonight, is there? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Saturday is the, the oh. Norwich men are uh, number one in the country. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep, yep. Really? Amazing. Oh, yeah. They're doing well. Not yes, necessarily. Yeah. They've always been strong. I think. Yeah. 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 yeah.
Yeah, yeah playoffs this weekend. They do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What is playoff week? Is it Saturday? Playoff Saturday. Game? Wow. Yeah. So um, first thing we need to look at here is Section uh, 1203, okay. and that's really has to do with non-conforming mm-hmm. lots. Okay. And there are criteria in um, 1203B. Uh, which it has to meet, 1203B, is legally subdivided and able to convey separately from any other lot. And this is a s- single lot subdivided mm-hmm. many, many years ago, mm-hmm. long right. before you bought it. Right. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Standalone lot, you, you don't own any property next door. No, no. Okay. Um, okay. It existed at the effective date of these regulations. It did. Correct. Yeah. Uh, it's at least an eighth of an acre. Mm-hmm. Not is. by much, but it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's twice as big. Interesting enough. And then it's not, it's not less than 40 feet wide. Correct. Sure. So it meets all those criteria. Mm-hmm. So that takes us to the waiver criteria, which are page four. Four. 24. Is that what it is? Well, it's 422 are the waivers. Page 4-22. Yeah. 4-22. Um, and which really doesn't have any criteria. Uh, it just says it may be waived up to 50%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's subject to the review under the criteria in figure 407. And uh, the applicant uh, has addressed all these criteria, by the way. Yeah. Um, but we'll just go through them real right. quickly. Criteria one, the uh, proposed land development will not alter the essential character of the area or district in which the property is located. Um, and it's a residential property. There are residences on either side. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, yep. So testimony by, or the written. And his testimony says the same thing. Um, the proposed land development will not substantially or permanently impair the lawful use of development on adjoining properties. There's nothing right. here that restricts the use of adjoining properties. So we're we're reading your testimony here, but if you wanted to add anything, you can yeah. always add. Yeah, feel free to pipe right in. And um, the um, Criteria three is the proposed land development will not be detrimental to public health, safety, or welfare. Mm-hmm. And do you have any comments on that? The, no, the proposed home will not be detrimental to public health, safety, and welfare. That's true. It's not. <laughs> it's I an would existing uh, residential property. It's. I don't. Mr. Pepin is not planning on anything. Any. Uh, Slaughterhouse. New development that's, right. oh, that would be in conflict <laughs> with what it was been for the last 50, 100 years right. or so. Um, do you have a um, on-site wastewater permit that for that? Right. On-site wastewater permit. That's yet to be determined, Mr. Yeah. Chairman. We've yeah, called. I think I do. We've called the agency. Yeah. They, they haven't responded yet to us. I would say that probably criteria three is met, assuming that yeah. he has a permit Mm -hmm. from the state of Vermont for on-site water and wastewater, Mm -hmm. which is a condition of getting a permit anyway. So it's, um, you can't get a permit from the zoning administrator without demonstrating you have water and wastewater permit. But we, we, Mr. Pepin was in my office and we called the the agency. They they just haven't responded yet. Um, And the fourth criteria, any questions, comments with no. regard to that? Mm-hmm. That was my. The fourth criteria is the proposed land development is beneficial or necessary for the continued reasonable use of the property. Yeah. And so um, the applicant argues that it is beneficial for the reasonable use of the property because a different orientation would not work well. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're supposed to say? He's, he's articulated that to me, um, that if you, we talk about moving the home perpendicular to the road to paint Turnpike South, and because of the slope of the property, he thought that was prohibitive. Um, uh, um, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's in a residential neighborhood, it's a small lot, it's really could only be a residential use. 
the, the question that I have for, for this board is um, if you, if, and we can maybe go back it out, um, because the, the, we were just unaware of what the property boundaries are on, on, that, on that property, um, is it conceivable that Mr. Pepin could put, put back the exact same size of a house that he has there, but up against the, what I, what I believe is probably butt up against the property lines. Um, you know, if, if that's the case, you know, this board doesn't need to meet. I, I was, um, I didn't, I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have, I wasn't very comfortable with making that determination myself just because it is right up against property lines. And, um, I guess one would have to make the argument that either it was been permitted previously, the, the mobile home, mm -hmm. okay? It's been which, there. Which yeah. my guess is you can't, you can't prove. Yeah. Yeah, or that it pre-exists, the mobile home pre-exists all our zoning regulations mm -hmm. because we always had at least 25 feet side yard yeah. setback. So mm -hmm. my guess is this mobile home was in violation of zoning yeah. from the get-go. Um, but that's just my, I'm guessing mm -hmm. only. Um, are you asking for consideration beyond 12 and a half feet? No, I think 12 and a half feet would do it. Leave you, it would leave you 40 feet, 45 mm -hmm. feet to be exact. 45 feet, yeah. yeah. Um, my house is 52 feet, but a lot of houses are a lot less than 50 yeah. feet wide. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the, um, but you can't get any less than that, right? 12 feet, 12 and a half feet. No, that's correct. That's 50% right. is the maximum we that's would allow. Right. So I would read this criteria to you in a different way, which is why I think these criteria need to be quite worked on a little bit. This criteria really says development is beneficial for the reasonable use of the property. If you take all the ores out, that's what it says. It's beneficial for the reasonable use of the property. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't think there's a uh, there's no higher standard than that here. Yeah. So um, and, and certainly having a uh, residence facing the lake. I think yeah. to do it your way, you'd have to go to non-conforming structures, and then, yeah. and then it doesn't Correct. meet that criteria. I don't think. I. I, just, well, I mean, that would be my opinion, but... That's why it's in front of you folks, because yeah. I, I was not comfortable with going that route. I mean, because you can do the, the modular, the sort of the double... I'm assuming there's enough room for the, for like a... You know, if you did the smaller... Tiny home? A tiny no, home. like even the... You couldn't do the double wide? Is there enough footage for that? Like the, the there's smaller... Much, there's plenty of depth there. Yeah, so... There's very few mobile homes you buy nowadays are much less than 50 feet, aren't they? Correct. Yeah. Hmm. Well, unless you do the, they, is, they have the shorter double ones. This will be a custom, this will yeah. be a custom. Yeah. <clears throat> but a tiny yeah. home would fit on the property. Oh, absolutely. Sure. There's all kinds of solutions that would yeah. fit on, yeah. the, on the property. Camp, tiny um, home would fit within the criteria. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, you see the one I'm in Barry, the new one they put up? Yeah. No. I don't think that's more than 20 feet wide. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But not everybody wants to live in a tiny home. No. We're talking about reasonable use. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got property that has shoreland, shoreland access. It does. Right. This property has a right of way to the lake. It does. It goes with it. And you're yeah. right. I should, I, should, I should acknowledge that I, I previously researched this property. And I researched it my, myself. And I, I looked through the deeds and... Hmm. Uh, Though it's not definitively marked or or no or but it does it does it, it the, the beats and bounds are approximately what what been portrayed so uh, you read more than i read then <laughs> yeah. well, it's been a while since i looked okay. at it so in fairness yeah uh, it's been a while because I, I was looking at about 10 different properties at the same time um so i i think it meets all the criteria anybody have further questions for this applicant Comments on the criteria? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll discuss what I want to discuss later. 
Well, I, me too. I, 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 mm -hmm. I'd like yeah. to discuss the next criteria, which we've dropped for some, some reason. Well, there may have been a reason for that. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, we can have a good discussion. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a problem with it either. I just, I just point out it's different than it used to be. Um, the, this, is, this, is, this is housekeeping. Sorry, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any further comments you'd like to make? Uh, no, no, I don't have any. Thank you. I, I just think the unknown factor here is the survey. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's why we didn't put in definitive sizes of this home, because I think a survey will have to be done. This application is simply for a waiver. Correct. Of fifty percent of the side yard setback. That's correct. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. It doesn't say he will have forty-five feet when he's done. That's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that's correct. It's it's but simply a waiver. Uh, he's presuming. My sense is any reasonable buyer is going to ask for a survey. Uh, yeah. Any reasonable buyer will probably ask for a perk test. Yeah. Uh, but then there are, are unreasonable buyers. So. <laughs> uh, but um, but. We're here only to hear one thing, correct. one thing only. That's correct. And, and judging by only, only one thing, which is our criteria we have. Mm -hmm. So I would entertain a motion to close the hearing. So, <laughs> so okay, I'll second. Motion been made and seconded. Is there a discussion on that motion? No. Motion been made to close the hearing portion of this application. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And we are closed. Good. Right. Thank you. All right. If I do have a survey, I think I'm going to gain more land because uh, well, that's it is a small That would be good. That would be very good. Did. Yeah. It would be very good. Because I think that lot is small, and I think it's bigger than that. Okay. I, I, I think just speaking from what work I looked at before, which had nothing to do with you or your yeah. property, uh, but I did recognize the name. Yeah. Uh, Brenda. Uh, that there was... Um, the right of way you want wanted to find that right of way to the the, ex, the access to the uh, lake too. Mm. Oh, that's true too. You should know the, the so right there, of way. There are yeah. I, I looked at at least ten different ones. Yeah. Some had restrictions. Some had no restrictions. Mm. Uh, so, some allowed for both houses. This one did. did wow. This one did. Yeah. So it was it was uh, it's pretty loose. It was loosey goosey stuff. <laughs> Not very well defined, only. No. It, it, South of Joe's barn or something like that. It was, yeah. To the it, was a, it, was, it was it was interesting deep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yeah. Poor did an interesting job on yeah. it. So the the process is that you'll get a permit from us in about thirty days yeah. time frame. Uh, I would encourage you to to look at maybe doing a survey. You have to you have to weigh the cost of that right, and right. to what the yeah. value you're going to get out of it. Okay. Uh, I to me uh, that may make this yeah. property more valuable. I know I have to sell it because I really don't want to hold on to yeah. it. Mm. I have to have a survey. But I would say knowing the lake access or the you know access to the pond and what rights the pro property owner has would be huge in yeah. selling that property. Well, it's wow. prime That's location. Yeah. You just can't go right down through yeah. right. anywhere. So. Well, if you, they have a, can have a boathouse. Well, that's what that, it said, but today is under yeah. today's laws. There are, there are new, there are new yeah. regulations that yeah. probably prohibit that. But in, in regardless, any case, I think even, even, even the cutting, for instance, it's been cleared across the way, mm -hmm. so you have a view. Right. I suspect that probably under current state statutes, oh. you couldn't do that. There'd be certain, well, there'd certainly be restrictions yeah. on it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'd certainly be good down at Gurley. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you very much, Roland. Oh, thank you very thank much, you, Roland. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. And, and what is your name? Polly. Polly. Carla. Tyler. Carla. Or Carla. Carla. Bobby. You used to work with my wife, didn't you? That's correct. That's right. I, uh, <laughs> forgive me of your name. That was in the 70s. That was in the 70s. A little Just ways a few back. years ago. <laughs> That's right. Robert Warnick. Robert, yes. Uh, and yours? John. Pardon me? John. John. Well, mm -hmm. nice to meet you all. Yes. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. Well, thank you thank for you. coming out. You want to thank you. Lovely night. Thank you. I'm going to get that surveyed then. <laughs> number one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably, probably have a fire in hand before I did it. That's your <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, the only other item we have for business tonight, uh, other than any uh, uh, 
a little recession you may want to have. We do have the minutes of the um, meeting of February 4th. Can I see those? Good night now. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Drive Thank you. safely. See you Saturday. You. <laughs> so I don't know if I can vote on them because I wasn't at the meeting. Can I? Yeah, sure I still again. can. Okay. Sure well, they looked okay. <laughs> I reviewed them. I, I had no comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to see what, you wrote, what was written about Justin. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, uh, it was not bad. It was actually a pretty good set of minutes. No, it was, yeah, it was fine. I wanted to reread it. I, I thought I'd read it, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> well, I move that we approve the minutes. Yes. The motion's been made. Uh, second that motion? Second. Discussion? All in favor that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? You have approved the minutes of the meeting of February 4th. Does anybody feel we need to go into a little recession on the matter before the board? Sure, board let's. I move that we do. Let's okay, see. we have a motion. 726. To go into a little recession at 726. Is there a second, second. that motion? Polly? And uh, we are in a little recession.